today we have this. This is the clone of an M16A2, but there's a couple differences between a A1 and an A2. Yeah, and we just did a video on the A1, so you can go check that out if you haven't yet. Yeah. You want to show them some of the differences? Yes. Okay, right over here we have the A1. I'm going to lay this down so you can really see it. The A2 has a different uh, forward assist, a different charging handle. See, the A1 has a triangle. Um, that is very hard to use. Yes, I can barely use it. Different sights. Yeah, that rear sight's different. Different flash hiders and different hand guards. Yeah. But other than that, they're basically the same gun. They're both 20 inch barrel ARs, right? Yeah. So what's cool about 20 inch ARs, honey? The velocity is very fast, but they barely kick it all to me. Yeah, they're a lot of fun to shoot. And we're gonna try these 20 inch guns out along with a 16 inch gun and a seven inch gun. Yes, which is very loud. Yeah, <laughs> against some steel body armor yep. from Premier Body Armor. Which I used to actually have this in my plate carrier. Yeah, but we've upgraded from the steel because it's pretty heavy. This, just these two, is eight pounds. Yeah. Like, I can hold it in one hand, but it's very hard. Yeah. All right, well, let's get these set up. Yeah. We're going to compare three different barrel lengths with three different types of ammo against that steel plate down there. And we're going to load one round of 223 Wolf, one round of MA55 Green Tips, and one round of M193. And this mag was actually given to us by Acme Tactical, and he got it specially engraved. He got it specially engraved with my logo on it. And this is a Dura mag. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right. All right, but, so we're loaded up with, let me see down in there. We're loaded up with, the first shot will be a Wolf 223. The second shot will be a Winchester M855. And the third shot will be an SMB M193. Yep. And we're going to be shooting. And we're going to be shooting it out of this A2 here. Yep. Let me charge it for you. There you go. Oh, this is such a big gun. All right, we're ready. Go ahead. Oh, I'll see. <laughs> oh. That was just the first shot. Here's our. Ooh, it's warm. Here's our Wolf 223 shot. And barely did anything to the metal. Just ripped the plastic a bunch. Nothing on the black. Nothing at all. Okay. Yeah, Stop that a, one good. Yeah. Next up we have a green tip. Alright. The plate stayed up that time. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Let's go check it out. I hit on the bottom. That's probably why. But. Alright. Did that one do any more damage? Just a little dent, barely. Tiny little dent. Nothing on the back. Nothing on the back. All yeah, right. Yeah, just a teeny, tiny little dent. Let's see if the M193 does any more. Yeah, I hope so. Sorry, next up we have the M193. Alright, let's see how that did. Yeah, same spot as the green tip. It looks Pretty like. close, yeah. Oh. Ooh, that looks like Uh oh. Good. I see a lot more damage. Straight through. It went through it? Yeah. Look at that. I hope you can see that hole. Show the other side. That's the exit side. Alright, so there's our entry. All the way through. Yeah. The uh Okay, so the Cellier and Bellet M193 round went right through the steel body armor. Yep. Out of a 20 inch gun. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so now we know out of a 20 inch, the M855 
and the 223 are not going to go through this. Yeah. Let's see if we still get a hole out of a 16 inch gun. Yep. Those are really interesting results out of a 20 inch gun with the M193. But let's see if we get the same results with a 16 inch gun out of this M4 with an M193. Cool. Ooh, I think that let's went through. Let's go check it out. It looks like it went through, but I don't think. You're right next to it. It's right there. Not even a Try little. Plastic off. Okay, yeah. Okay, so right there is our hole all the way through out of the 20 inch gun. Same round out of a 16 inch gun. Not even close. Yeah. A little bit of a dent, but that's it. Yeah. We're gonna see if that was actually just a fluke out of the 20 inch, so we're gonna shoot it again with another M193. That 20 inch hits so hard. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at the board behind it, honey. See the smoke? Oh, yeah. On the board? Yeah. All right. Do we got a hole? Yeah. Can you see that? Yep, we got another hole. So now we know M193 will shoot through steel armor with a 20 inch gun only. Yeah. Now I got my awesome little 7.5 inch Bear Creek with this really pretty purple with the silver sparkles. I love this upper, really, really love that upper. And we screwed the plate to the board so it won't fall through those um, M193 holes, Yeah. which was actually really funny. And we're gonna dump 10 rounds into it. Cool. Did I mention that was a side charger? Yeah, now you did. You like that gun? <laughs> Let's go check it out. All right. I think I hit all in the same spot pretty much, but. Yeah. Definitely way less velocity out of the seven inch. Yeah. All it did is leave uh, like dust on the surface. It didn't even mark it. Look. Yeah, look at all that spatter. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's load up the 20 inch with M193 and do the same thing and we'll make 10 holes. <laughs> we got the A2 loaded up with six M193s because we only had six left, but we're gonna blast that thing. Cool. Chambered? Nope. Oh, this is such a big gun. Again. Get a light strike? I think so. Yeah, we've been getting light strikes with this gun. Hold yeah. on, let me clear that. All right, I rechambered that light strike round for you. That's it. Oh, this All is right. heavy. Let's see if we got any more holes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, look. You hit. You hit that hole two more times, that same hole with the screws in it. So one, two, three, four, five. So you had a miss. I think that was another. You think? I think so, because I Oh yeah, them. you're right. That was one of them. That was one of them. Maybe we had one that didn't go through. Maybe oh, it was look, the look, light look. strike. Look, I can still see a bullet end or something oh, in there. Yeah, wait. Let's take that off. That's good for that one. Okay. And then do this one right here. Watch your toes. Screws got all bent. All right, that's good. Now that one. Okay. You know what that is? It's a chunk of the plate, isn't it? Yeah. Chunk of the plate came out. That's the little plug that the bullet pushed out of the back of the plate. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We got the A2 loaded up with an M855, 
and we're gonna be shooting five phones. See if we stop one. Yeah, right. <laughs> I doubt it. What's really cool though, if you hit a phone just right, it turns into a smoke bomb. Yeah, if you hit the battery, the lithium battery, Perfect shot. Dead center. Nice. Let's look at that. And I thought I saw dirt, so it went through batteries. Look. Looks like it went through batteries. Yeah, it did. It's huh. turned into a smoke bomb. Last time we did one of these, we had a nice smoke bomb out of it. Yeah. I guess you got to hit it just right. Yeah, I think the, I feel like the battery is like over here. Okay. Yeah. Look at that perfect shot. Yeah. Right through the metal. I aimed right there. Whoa. Cool. I want to get those out of there, see the middles and stuff. Okay. Shoot you want to shoot it some more though? Let's shoot it till at least they fall out. <laughs> okay, now we got three more MA55s. See if we can knock off one of those foes. You have to chamber it. All right, you still got one in the chamber, just send it down range. Nice. Let's check them out. A lot of glass. Yeah. All right, we got, we got phone guts hanging out pretty good. Oh, one's a smoke bomb. Is it smoking a little? Yeah, it is. Just a little bit. Not like we've had before though, right? Yeah, usually they make a smoke cloud. I wonder why none of these reacted like that. Yeah. That's exactly where you need to shoot though. That was the battery. Yeah, that was perfect shot. Yeah, gosh, this was the back phone. I know that. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, <laughs> that was in the worst shape. Could you still use it? What's that? I said, could you still use it? Uh, probably not. Let's sell them to that gazelle machine at Walmart. This is a really cool plate, and I've decided I want to, I want to sign it, and we're gonna put it on eBay for an auction for everybody. Cool, bullet holes and all. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thing, Look yeah. in the description for the link to that auction. Yeah. Two is really cool. Big thanks to Acme Tactical for letting us borrow this. So thanks for watching Autumn's Armory. We'll see you next time.